We're back with breaking news. The Libyan man suspected of making the bomb that destroyed a passenger plane over Lockerbie, Scotland in 1998 is now in U.S. custody. This is brand new. Alexandria Hoff is in D.C. with the latest information just coming into the newsroom. Alexandria. Yeah, that's right. And we're just learning from the Department of Justice that Abu Ajila Mohammed Massoud will be in a Washington, D.C. courtroom tomorrow. It's been 34 years since Pan Am Flight 103 exploded over Lockerbie, Scotland, killing all on board, including 35 students from Syracuse University who are returning home after studying abroad. Now, U.S. officials confirm that the Libyan man accused of making the bomb has been taken into U.S. custody. He had been in prison in Libya for a separate sentence. We don't know just right now what facilitated that apprehension, why it's happening now. But we do know that back in 2020, new charges against him were announced by the Justice Department. And Bill Barr was attorney general at the time. He said this man responsible for killing Americans would be brought to justice. Only one other individual had been convicted in the attack. He died in 2012, maintaining his innocence. Now, this round would be the first time that a person charged in connection to the bombing would stand trial in an American courtroom. The explosion over Lockerbie it was the deadliest attack on British soil. In addition to the 259 people on board, 11 people on the ground were killed as well. Guys. All right. Thank you, um, Alexandria. Sure. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.